Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is Moss Street, and every year they have a painting here, all arts and crafts, the road is closed to traffic from here down to Dallas Road. I'm not sure where my friends are going to be, so I'll head down this way first, and then maybe head back in a little while. Later on, I'm going to go for fish and chips. Fish and chips. So this whole street is devoted to arts and crafts today. There are probably 200 exhibitors, bigger than the Canada Day party from the other week. an old uh, Citroen 2CV for sale.
Because that's why we No, no, you guys go ahead. Okay, apparently not that vehicle. <laughs> There's a lack of communication. Go ahead, folks. You guys go ahead and you're letting them through. <laughs> Why the dog? 
Why the dog?
Hi right, Cindy, how are you? Walking. Yes, Fantastic. I am. Yeah, this is the first full week with no crutch and oh. no boot. Oh, oh, no boot. You f- must feel liberated. I had this plastic oh. boot for the longest time. That's enough to give you hip problems. Yeah, I did. I did the first couple of days. I really had an issue. Just one quick question: How do I pay you? Like, you take visa? Uh, yeah. yeah, you do that. I can only pay once. Otherwise. He takes the money. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm too scatterbrained by this point to take the money. It's a beautiful day, and you're not in the, you're not too exposed to the wind here. Uh, yeah. A little bit further up the hill, it's kind of breezy up there. It gets gusty, and I guess it depends if it comes off the water. Apparently later in the afternoon is when it gets windy at this location, but oh, wow. we're just not going to think about that. Norma's like, playing pickleball at the moment. Yeah. She's on Carnarvon. I came here by bus. Where is Carnarvon? Canar- it's off Fal Bay Road. It's, like it's up Fall Bay yeah, Road, between Fall Bay and oh, okay, yep, and the water. Yeah, she mentioned that she was at that park, and I thought I know that name, but I don't know where it is. It's like with me; I know all these names, yeah, but I can't place them. You have to say what the cross street is, yeah. and then you get a better idea. Well, even coming here, he said, "Is this Cook Street?" <laughs> <laughs> You've lived here for fourteen years now. Yeah. How's it going? You selling anything? Uh, yes. Yeah. You know, we are allowed to set up from nine thirty. At nine thirty-five, people are wanting to buy stuff. They're really? rummaging through boxes, and it it makes me so squirrely brained because. Well, those are the people who are looking for bargains early on, and then they'll disappear. Yes, they they won't be back here later on. No, they won't be back later, and also they know I have limited stock, probably, or some people do. So. Well, hopefully, you sell out today. I did three weeks ago. I was in a really great sale, and I saw. Were you at the Moss Street uh, painting? Uh, not the Moss Street, the um, no, I the Gorge at, on uh, Art. No, um, I used to do that show. Yeah, everybody I did. I went that. down there to see who I recognized. I thought I might see Helen Jakes, but mm-hmm. she wasn't there. I saw Tobias. He was there. Oh, he's, he's, Tobias is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yep. It was a busy day, but I don't know how much they sold that day. Yeah. I think this is bigger than um, yeah, it the, is. the, the uh, what is it called, the other one. Is that, that one's the Canada Day uh, yeah. Gorge on Art. It used to be called Gorge on Art when it was the, the weekend after Canada Day, and then they combined the two things, and I stopped doing it then because if there's too many other things going on, like games for kids and food and music, yeah. people aren't there to buy. They're there to have a nice day. Well, I'm going to go and buy some groceries at the farmer's market further up, and then I'm going to go up and see my friends with their stone carving. They're oh, here okay. again this oh, year. Yeah. That's the problem being in it. You don't see, like, I might see the people all around us, but... Okay. Well, listen, I I'll... I liked your uh, video last time, because then I got to see a few other things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my camera this time. What? <laughs> no. Listen, I'll, uh, I might be down this end again, but it's quite a long walk for me, actually, oh, still. Think, yeah. This is almost like a little marathon for me. It is, and it's going to be uphill. <laughs> All the way back. I want to get down to Dallas Road and then head back up. I'll say hi yeah. to you on the way yeah. by.
Yes, hi. Well, I'm just trying to go walk and see some culture. Oh, okay. Well, you're on for a walk, eh? Well, yes, look. No Good. crutch, no boot, nothing. Yeah. Let's go. How are you walking? Everything good? Oh, everything's just sore as hell, but it's just 50 years of running have done it to me. I'm just, I just go out for about 15 to 20 minutes of three days a week, four days a week, and twice a week I go to cardio. At the, at the gym? At the, uh, no, at the uh, hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, they get lifting weights. Is that like some sort of rehab? Yes, it is. Ah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I just, uh, other than I'm doing all right, just to... Uh, I thought I might see a few people I knew today. Yeah. You're the second. The first person I know knew was uh, one of the exhibitors, a potter. Oh, yeah. A friend of my wife's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last year I came here on my bicycle, that's okay. right. And I, yeah. I parked it at Moss Street at the, li at the uh, art yeah. gallery. What I like to do is walk the length of, uh, walk the length of uh, Moss Street. Yes. That's, that's a bit of... Ooh. Yeah, the only trouble is, as you just experienced, running into your own pedal. Well, I should be a better because I'm on it every six, seven days a week. When I know, but with all these people, oh, it's yeah, going to be yeah. difficult. You might be better off locking up your bike somewhere. No, I'm going to be all right because I'm going to walk the length and go home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have always parked at the other end and then done halfway and back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a plan. <laughs> you do? That's good. I have a plan too. I wanted to do the whole of Moss Street today. I'm going to do that, yeah. Just to see. I started at uh, Fairfield. I yeah. got off the bus, yeah. came this way. I'm going to go up to the art gallery, come back to Fairfield, have some fish and chips, and then go home. Uh, that's another thing I can Once in a blue Sunday, I can have one of those fish what? and chips. Fish and chips? Somebody said I shouldn't be eating bacon anymore. Jeez. I think there's a lot of scaremongery going on. How's your ticker? Fine, how are you doing? Are you? I'm good. Robin, I'm isn't it? Rob, oh, yeah. my goodness. It's, yeah, a, it's a shock, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it can make me cry sometimes. It's so upsetting. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, all yeah. these pills are making me kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I love to see that. You, uh, beta blockers are what really knock me back like I just well, I couldn't get my heart rate up you I can't I yeah. start feeling nauseous like, yeah. whoa, 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 that's all I can do yeah. so I, I I read uh, and, and I have a friend that runs with it now who's a doctor and he brought some literature back and it basically oh, yeah. said after a year beta blockers don't do you any good so I took that in and I'm holding it in my hand and my cardiologist is looking at me and he's looking at this and he, I didn't say anything and he finally said Almost everything that people bring in here is complete shit. So that's not. It's a good study. I know you're going to quit, so nothing I can do. And, well, and then a year later, he said, oh, you can go off beta blockers if you want. And I hadn't had one for a year. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. I got Dr. Swigger. Swigger? Oh, yeah. yeah. Never heard of him. I run, sure. I run, she, run past she. her all the time. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> she, she actually, she, she was running along with Rob Grant and I. Oh, my goodness. And Rob Grant said, uh, oh, Rob was a patient of yours. And, and she goes, well, we better slow down. <laughs> and I said, no, no, we're good. <laughs> so, no, we're good, so. Yeah, I just had jumping on that. So how, how long has it been now? Since February 2nd. February. Oh, for a run, oh, God, what's wrong? I'm just dizzy. I couldn't catch yeah. my breath. Yeah. Uh, well, the first couple are really, no pain, really, really scary. No, I mean, I just was just in disbelief. Yeah, yeah. Well, how quickly you lose your fitness? Well, it's more than that. Your just, body just doesn't cooperate. Uh, I'm know, waiting for that feeling now because yeah. I'm just coming off Achilles surgery. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I haven't run a step yet, but I did a bit of elliptical, which was good. Yeah. Because there was no impact. I'm going to the rehab twice a week there with uh, Sam Next Nelson. week I'm going to start. Do that. Sure, do anything they suggest. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, I did, I did a lot of walking to start and then swimming. Yeah. And then started running. Yeah. I get so. too cold in the pool. That's the yeah. trouble. Yeah. Uh, swim harder. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been doing some deep water walking, you know, with yeah. the water yeah. about this deep. Yeah. Because I feel quite safe. There's a guy in Crystal, he runs in the pool for a couple hours a day. Wow. Imagine the mental... He must be on some kind of rehab. I don't know, he's still running. Okay. And he's a runner. Years and years ago, and I pulled, blew up my hamstring. It was just a nagging injury. I decided to 
was it Rodney, Rodney Crimmen, Robert Crimmen. Yeah. I was in the pool for two, nearly two hours with him. Yeah. Got out, I felt like a limp rag. Yeah. He's still going to the pool all the he's time. Still, he swears yeah. by him. He's yeah. he kept healthy. Yeah. I was expecting to see him today here. Uh, he might be. Maryland, he put Maryland on a plane yesterday morning to go somewhere. I don't know where. And I said, you don't go anymore? And he, he used said, to no, play no. in a band, and they used to play in yeah, the... Yeah, uh, yeah, he's done that. I'm going to go up and see if he's there. Yeah, it could be. Anyways, you coming, I Chris? I thought I'd say yeah, hi. Good, good. See you, Rob. There's two, two big things we've had. Yeah, we've had... But, but bumped into you is one legend in my life. No, Bumping say, into Robin, Rob, another. You know, Rob Pearson, isn't it? Rob Pearson. Yeah. He indirectly in that stupid chat line may have saved my life years ago. Really? That's going back a bit, isn't well, it? Going back, uh, like 2004. There's this funny looking mole on my skin. Yeah. I, think I told you that. that oh, that's it. right. Yes, you did. You did. Well, I mean, that was a tender hook to that for a good few yeah, years. Well. I think if we live long enough, we're going to come down with something, that's for sure. These are my friends here, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. If you want to buy a coffee mug, I'm sure Cindy has coffee mugs. I've got my bag, but I'm planning to buy groceries, actually, yeah, yeah. when I get to the farmer's market. Uh, I'm just going to sort of walk on. Well, I'm quite happy to walk with you. Are you sure. quite happy to walk with me? Of course, yeah. Good. <laughs> Slow me down, please. <laughs> no, I don't know. But this is good therapy for me, because normally I, I'm just in my own thoughts. At least now I have somebody to yeah, talk with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is all nudists, all uh, nude paintings. Yeah. Certainly quite a bold display, isn't it? But, um, you know, that, that, those pieces would be quite expensive, a couple of hundred each. Rob Pearson, he's kind of a Nazi type of guy. He's kind of like he, he's been to these various countries years ago and picked up all sorts of nicknames. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, was really glad, was really I'm glad he's still running and he uh, oh. appears to be running with the Y group as well. Wow, the rail group. The rail group, yeah. Yep, yeah, hopefully next week I'll start jogging again. Well, I'm reluctant to start now because I know if I start running now, it'll be clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. I don't want to develop a, a limp into my run. I want to because it takes the longest time to get rid of a limp, and you're always overcompensating with the good leg, so you wear that one out. Would it be more comfortable for you to hold the bike on the other side? No, I'm fine. That's I'm left-handed. I'm a left-handed rider. I can't. It's funny. As soon as I step the left side side of my bike, it feels weird. Uh huh. Yeah. Because I can't get on that way. I always, I always approach it. I always approach it from the right. I was one of a few people in high jumping who came came at the bar from the left. Okay. So I my right foot. Yeah. Did the you story, do that at high school? Glen Mann School. Okay. I uh, grade nine. And the story goes, the darn gym mats which we landed on were crooked. Oh. So myself and another guy, and I landed awkwardly on my left ankle, and the whole, this is, this is when I was 15, oh. the whole class heard the crack. Oh, dear. Yeah. Were you in a cast for a while? Six weeks in a, in a walking cast. They took it off and uh, let me say, well, it's healed now. They took more x-rays. Yeah, but at it's, age 15, you heal up very quickly. <laughs> sure yeah. It would take you three times as long now. Within a few, within a few, few weeks I was walking without a limp and I was starting to, be able to play sports again. I'm beginning to feel now that my legs are like uh, yeah. 75, 25. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for them to feel 50, 50. Yeah, both okay. legs. Yeah. This guy's got one of those. It's a bit so like a Tuesday steel drum. We to, uh, was, I got your message. Yeah, I said it was Tuesday, one, one o'clock, another uh, dinosaur meeting. Discovery Coffee, I believe. I'm not sure. I think I know it is. Oh, well, it's opposite the Royal Theatre, so, you know, if it's, it, it might be called something else, but we, well, I'm sure we'll find each other. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so I've managed to get back to Fairfield where I started. 
And now I head up towards my friends, the carvers, oh, yeah. the stone carvers. Yeah. There's a group of guys in wheelchairs, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and uh, they got together as a group of, of disabled carvers. Yeah. And um, they do some nice pieces, but they work in soapstone yeah. because it's quite a soft stone. They wouldn't be carving alabaster or granite or anything, but soapstone is soft. They can... Well, today's run was for about 10 minutes. Yeah? Jogged for about three and a half minutes, or three, just over three minutes. Picked it up for about a, a couple of minutes. How did that feel? Did it, did, it, did it feel like your heart was being stressed at all? No, not at all. Good. But what is bothering me more is because he took away my pain pills. Ah. Of arthritis. What were you taking before? Ibuprofen or something more more specific? Uh, something less uh, harmful. It's called Arthrotech. I got a doc's prescription. Okay. He kind of like it's a twice a day thing, but I don't even take it once a day or try once every other day because I didn't, you know, I didn't like relying on it. But it would, it would do the trick. Yeah. It's just they've taken that away. I'm really feeling my old knees. Okay. See, of course, Rob for instance. Rob is amazing. I don't know how he keeps... Uh, he hasn't changed a bit in the last 20 years, basically. Rob, oh, Rob Grant? Yeah. Oh, Rob, I'm just talking about Rob Pearson, yeah. Cause, cause, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year I brought my camera, but this year I thought, ah. Uh, Dusty Springfield did that song originally. I was at the Oaks last night. I'm a source named Stephanie Peters. You went to a club or a bar? Well, I was just a while ago. I just went up for a beer to listen to this lady sing. Live music. Which 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 which, music. which place was this? It's now known as the Oaks. I'm there. Are, I'm probably there almost every day now. Just a just a drop in to have a light breakfast or. What did it used to be called? The Blethering Place. Years ago. Oh, I know. You used to go there before when it was the Blethering Place. Blethering Place. Then it was, it was the bistro. Then somebody, there was somebody, the uh, somebody absconded or uh, embezzled thousands of dollars. So they had to get rid. Had to. Uh, they went into that? liquidation and then the. Liquidation. Yeah, and it's now the. Uh, it's now the Oaks. The Oaks. Well, let's hope they survive. I'm. I'm sure the location is good. I mean, right on the corner there. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's just a home away from home for years now. It probably was originally a pub, and then it became a restaurant, then it became a pub again. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. When I first got to Victoria, it was the Blethering Place. Yeah, yeah. And I remember you used to go there almost every day for your lunch. Really? I used to be there too. So, no, that's what I'm saying. You, yeah. you used to go. I didn't yeah. go because I was at the other end of town. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I probably would have gone if, if, if I'd been closer. But for the longest time, I was in the food business myself, so I was surrounded by free food, basically. Yeah. Surprising I haven't ballooned out. But they always say that the, the chefs of a business that they own are slim. The chefs of a business that they're being paid by the boss, they, they put on weight because they, they take advantage of the free food. Yeah. Dietitians have become kind of not a bit of a fanatic on what I'm eating these days. <laughs> well, Joseph is quite uh, strong-willed yeah, about that. He doesn't eat a, a veg, vegetarian. V vegan, vegan. Oh, I think he's done very well. That means me. No, it's, it's whatever suits you is what you have to do, right? Without going crazy. Yeah. A little bit of a, of everything is good for you. Yeah. But there's no reason for him to take the aggressive stance against meat eaters. <laughs> He's like making us feel guilty. I mean, oh, why? Yeah. Why does he do it? Oh. It should be, everybody should be allowed to do what they would want, really. <laughs> I feel like I'm parting the traffic for you. Really 
There's like a sea of humanity up there. They do have a, a market here every Sunday, I believe, but it's only this day that they have the really big one. It's either Sunday or Saturday they have a market every week. But it's basically only in James Douglas School. Done it again? It's a shame you can't fold your pedals out of the way. That's the first porter party I've seen. That's a nice uh, yeah. painting. Is it a fact? It might have been taken from a photograph of Mount Baker. Yeah, it looks good. This all looks local, doesn't it? That looks like McNeil Bay. Yep. Hang on a second. Brett! Brent! Hey, Carlos, how you doing? Aren't you set up already? I don't know where they are. They normally hire up. Okay. I've been all the way down there and they, had, they weren't there. Oh, Come wow. with us. We're going this way. How are you doing today? Pretty good. You see, look, no boot. Nope. Oh, right on. Last time you saw me, I had my boot. This yeah. time, I don't have my boot. Was Al home that time? He was, yes. Okay. He was. Everything is in order. Great. Yeah, well, last time I came here, last year, I came just around 10.30, 11 o'clock, yeah. and they hadn't quite set up, so this time I decided to go down to... Uh, to uh, Dallas Road first and then oh, yeah. come back up. Oh, wow. Yep. That's okay. I've got my friend here, Chris, and his bicycle, so Hello, we're like the mechanical brigade here. Yeah. Yeah, I got battery power. How is your, uh, is your batteries okay? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah? I yeah. guess that's the first thing you learn, isn't it? Keep never run out of, never run out of batteries. So what Try speed are we doing? <laughs> You'd probably go a little faster if it wasn't so busy here. I would, but then I'd, yeah. It's I'd like a sea of humanity, isn't it? Yeah. Away. He would be a, a ballistic missile here. Yeah. Well, I'd have to check the uh, table of algorithms to see how far I'd go before. Yeah. No, I thought that might have a speedometer on it. Um, so, oh, my. So I don't think it would register. Probably not. Mind you, it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? As long as you get to wherever you want to be on time, it doesn't really matter how fast you're going. So you must have some uh, exhibits here already. Yes, uh, I do. Did Al bring them from the studio? Al and Gary, yeah. Good. Because um, they were just up here, a little further up. They had the white, uh, Gary's white um, handy dart. That was parked off to the side, and they were on that side of the road. I would have thought they would stand out. I don't think we've missed them. I don't think we've missed them. Chris is, uh, Chris is in our slipstream. He's, he's using us as a, like a... Yeah, he's drafting behind us. We break our way through the sea of humanity. Yeah, I break wind and you're right <laughs> Yeah, too much information. I just worry that you're going to run over my foot, but I guess, I guess you're okay with that. I mean... I'm all right with a broken foot, you're not. Well, I'm just getting over a bit of ankle injury, so... This is my second workout today. Wow. I went to the... Rec this morning, I did nine on the elliptical. 
Wow. You know that machine? Yeah. It's pretty good for what I'm recovering from because it works my tendon yeah. without actually having to jump from foot to foot. Yeah. My feet never leave the ground, basically, but I go through the motions of running. And what I did on each step is raise the heel oh, yeah. as if I was pushing off from my toe just to see what that felt like. So are, are, when you run, are you a heel striker? Not really. I'm more of a midfoot. I land on my midfoot and then I push off. I don't use the heel a lot. Whenever I look at my shoes, the heel's not the most worn. The most worn part is the outside of my right foot. That's the foot that I use the most. Hopefully now, if I get back into a nice even gait, I'll have less imbalance of my leg use. Well, it makes you realize when you're not able to do the stuff that you enjoy, how much you miss it. <laughs> Look at the colors on that Citroen. <laughs> yeah, I saw that for sale. Look at that. How much they want for that? A two a C2, uh, yeah, a Citroen 2CV. <laughs> 10,000. Yeah, not too bad, really. You pay that for a new car nowadays. Guess how much? Ah, <laughs> oh, you got good ears. You got good ears. Well, that's what you'd pay for a new car nowadays. Yeah, sure would you pay that for a Citroen. Well, you, it's probably been restored or maintained at least. It's not a rust bucket like it would have been. Wow. To get that was a 1984 Citroen. It was. Yep. Oh my goodness. They, they didn't change at all. It was like the old VW. It never changed for so many years. All right, now this is roughly where I'm expecting to see Al and the boys. They said they're across from the school. Yep, so that's higher up still. We haven't got to... Oh, have we passed the school? No, nope, we're coming to it. We're coming to it, all right. That's Fairfield up there. That's where I started this saga. <laughs> I got off the bus and started going downhill. It's my story of my life. I got off the bus and went downhill from then on. But now we're going uphill again. Yeah. I can smell uh, sweet, sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. I'm looking forward to burning a heck of a lot more calories than I've been burning recently. Yeah, I know, but once I start running again, I'm sure I'm going to burn a lot of calories. Now I can get by with a sandwich and a couple of beers. That's me for the day. That's all the calories I need. A nice sandwich and a couple of beers, and I'm good for another day. Yep, I do. I, 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 last time I saw you, I was yes. just coming back from, the, from, from getting some malt uh, extract from the store. Anyway, so that beer is already being enjoyed. Oh, good. Yep, because I use, as I was explaining to you, I'm using that system where I keep some of the old and I add new to it. So it's always semi-ready. If I was patient, I could wait, and it would all be delicious. But I'm getting through the stage when it's now tasting pretty good. And I've got about uh, six gallons of it. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two shots a day? Or? About that. Well, it's probably, when it's tasting good, it's more like a liter a day. <laughs> which is about three cups. Well, a regular-sized Canadian beer bottle is a third of a liter. So if I'm drinking a litre a day, I'm drinking three of those, or the equivalent. Yeah. Is that your phone talking to us? It is. Do you have it on some tracking app? No, I just like getting my Oh, 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 you too. I thought it was just me. Watch out for the uh, law enforcement officer. Can't call them policemen anymore. Your destination is on your left, oh, I heard that. So this is the school here. 
So James Douglas, smudge backs. Thank you. Oh, you're nippy, eh? Chris! Uh, it's a little awkward walking with a bicycle because uh, the pedals oh, stick yeah. out. He's run into his own pedals a few times now. All right, so this is roughly where we should see the guys. This is the school. Yeah, I seem to think they're under those cherry trees up there. Did they have an awning last year? Did they have a canopy? Yeah. They did, because when I saw them, it was still open to the sky. A couple of cans of pee and a few bags. What? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> You're playing on words there. A canopy. Yeah. It reminds me of one of those, I think it was either the Marx Brothers or something. One of those old comedy movies from the old days. And the guy says, open a can of peas. Hoist the mainsail and open a can of peas. And it was hoist the mainsail and open the canopy. Open a can of peas. And they're saying, why should I open a can of peas? What do I need peas for? Well, I'm planning to uh, pick up some groceries from the farmer's market later on. I'm going to buy carrots and uh, onions and stuff. <clears throat> do you see them? Ah, I recognize this, the artwork. Mr. Unger! I feel like doing a little happy dance. I found him. He was almost at Dallas Road. I said, I think they're up this way a little bit more. Hi, Gary. Very good. No. took the bus? Or? My buddy brought me down. Oh, nice. Jerry. I took yeah, the bus. I got, I got down here by bus. I unload some of my stuff. Do you have a bag of some items? I brought my fins down, my bronzes. Yeah, we, we just got a lot of shit down there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So this is, these are my friends. They do all the oh, yeah. carving here. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these yeah, things are new nice, to me. Yeah. Some of them I remember from a while ago. Uh -huh. There's a, one more partner. It's Gary, um, Brent, Robin, yeah. and Al, right? Uh -huh. So you're missing the fourth amigo. Yeah, he'll be here at some point. At some point. <laughs> See, they have the carving splint for the hand oh, yeah. oh, wow. to make it easier to make the effort. You want me to unload your bag here? Is it heavy, heavy? It's very heavy. I got it, yeah. Okay. Go behind and She's getting the cripple to work here. Just slide it under the table there. So what do you want to pull out? This one, the yeah. fin? Is it attached to a base? Yes, it is. Is it sturdy? I'm not going to break it, I hope. No, you're not. Okay. I'll just put it in behind the... Behind the cat? I guess I should turn it around with a label facing the customers. That's beautiful. Yeah, nice that's piece of stone, eh? That's a, that's a casket. I got, I got the original in here, the stone. But what do you want me to pull out? Anything else? Oh, there's a bronze uh, gorilla. That would be great. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really small one. Actually. Is it, it's underneath it, it, the, the bag there, I think. Under this bag? There it is. This? Yep. 
Yeah. Where do you want the bronze gorilla? Right next to the splint? Uh, yes, please. Thanks very much, man. All right. Thank you. Now, do you want me to stow this out of the way a little bit? Sure, that'd be grand. Thanks very much. Then you'll be able to get closer to the merchandise. Oof. I'm exhausted. I'm not used to doing all this weightlifting. I'm sorry to do that to you, but hey. Well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, that's what they say. Do you want this repositioned a little bit? Oh, it's fine. I just don't want to... I think you should all have equal displays here. You probably do. And when Al comes in, it's going to be, move aside, boys, move aside. No, we only get half the space. We're supposed to have this whole section. Yeah. Okay, but I guess some of our stuff is out already, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a hand. Oh, that's right, the hand. The claw. I remember that one. He had another one with a beer can in it. Yeah. Marshall, Marshall's got that one. Oh, okay. I remember that one. And I remember when he was carving the face for the longest time and then it cracked or something. Oh, and it oh. ended up in the garden. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that I one. think it's in the pond. It's in the now. pond. It's yeah. in the pond? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen, guys. Good luck with your uh, exhibits today. Thanks, and uh, I'm just going to go up to the, uh, the, the um, art gallery for a... Oh. They have a beer tent up there. Yeah. See you later. Have a good day. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have a good day. Do you want to go for a beer? No, I'm going to be wandering on up to the town. You're going that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go up to the top. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you going to head off down that road? No, I'm just going to head up to, the, uh, head up to uh, Richardson. Oh. I said I have to get my water for now to use it. Yeah. There is a beer garden... I bought a bunch of At the art gallery itself. <laughs> I'm not sharing with you. I'll buy you one. I have one. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll buy you a beer, don't worry. Unless there's a huge lineup, you know. I have beer at home. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got to see my friends and help them get their stuff out. Yeah. I'm glad I ran into Rob Pearson. I wonder how he's been doing it. Oh, by the guy. Kind of yes and kind of... Yep, so I'm going to see what's going on at the art gallery. And I can see it right up ahead. There's the wall of uh, the school. What's the name of that school up there? It's not Vic High, is it? Oh, uh, Central Junior. Central, Central, that's right. Junior, yeah. yeah, yeah. It might be a high school by now. No, it's still a middle school. It's a middle school? Yeah. Well, what happened to a lot of the schools in my neighborhood is they started off as elementary, yeah. and then there were two elementary schools in the same neighborhood, so one of them became a middle school. Mm-hmm. So now we have one elementary, one middle school, and then the high school is Lambrick. Lambrick Park is the high school. Did you live in Gordon Head? No, I remember last we lived in uh, Cordova Bay. Uh, no, uh, just by up near the junction, uh, Belcher Avenue. It's a couple of blocks down, not actually too far away from uh, Central Junior. Okay. And, uh, uh, so I thought you were talking about Lambrick. Oh, no, no. You never were no, in Gordon Head. Uh, a few of the kids yeah. So Tuesday we're meeting at uh, Discovery Coffee right. yeah. at one o'clock. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. That's good. And I think Joe is going to get serious about his half mar- marathon training. By reading by his Facebook post, he's back in the mood now. He puts, yeah. he puts his uh, detail, he details his, his training almost daily now. Yeah. Well, I guess he's kind of uh, on his own now that Dorothy's in Malta. Yeah. 
and he's retired as well, so he's getting all this freedom all at once. Yeah, yeah. He's got the house to himself, he's got no job to go to, yep. and he still can't sleep. That's the problem he has. I don't know. I think he might drink more coffee than he needs to. He might be one of these uh, four or five cups a day kind of guy. And like me, I mean, he's quite a lightweight. In fact, he's a smaller person than I am. And, you know, if I drink coffee or if I drink beer, it gets to me much quicker because I don't have as much mass to absorb it all. Yeah. Like I have to take a, a, a child's dose of something, otherwise it's too strong for me. Well, it's odd, because I had a cup of coffee when we were at, uh, at uh, Joe's place. Yeah. Before I left. I sure feel like my stomach was riding home. Well, you were a bit, you've been on uh, decaf for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been decafing it, yeah. So maybe that was the difference. When you <laughs> drank his coffee, it probably has quite a lot of caffeine in it. I was going to stop for coffee, but at the time I was a little nervous about, firstly, the, about the amount of beer that I drank, and secondly, I didn't really want to be clomping around with a dangerous leg, you know, something that might get damaged. So I decided to go while I was still ahead, you know, while I was still in one piece kind of thing. There's a lot of beautiful women here today. I was going to say it. Have you noticed? There's a guy in a kilt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't assuming that you were looking for a guy in a kilt. <laughs> no. I love this tree here. It's a really big uh, sequoia right next to a really small house. <laughs> the tree is ten times bigger than the house. I bet if you lived on these side streets, you wouldn't be too happy because I'm sure they've blocked a lot of them off. For a cyclist, you're okay, but if you wanted to go somewhere in your car... You're what? Boom on the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow at Ladness Track Meet. Where? On TV. Oh, I see. Nice. Hang on, the guy's going to give us the gear go-ahead once these cars go through. Got to be fair on the cars once in a while. All right. Thank you. There's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Good. I'm out of my boot now. You're, what, you're out of your what? Yeah, my yeah, boot. Yeah. Your boot? What did, what did you oh, do yeah. Achilles tendon. Oh, Surgery. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been back. walking for a week oh, yeah, now, but good. I haven't been running yet because uh, I don't want to start doing the old well, yeah, limping gait. Just, yeah, just, uh, just ease back into these things. You've got to ease back into it. Oh. I'm quite happy with a few more days of walking. Yeah. You know what I have been doing, which is really helpful? The elliptical. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's no impact. Yeah. And I'm working the Achilles. Yeah, and you're, the getting, foot. you're getting a little bit of flexion in there. But not out of control. Yeah. I'm not yeah. jumping from foot to foot yeah. yet. Yeah. 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 I feel bad about the policeman. He just let us cross and then <laughs> we cross back again. Oh, oh, well. That's what they're here for. Are they uh, running a beer tent up at the uh, yeah, gallery? Yeah, the gallery. That, yeah, from 11 till 9, there's a, there's a, beer, a, a beer garden going on. Yeah. Lighthouse, breweries, Mission Hill, um, okay. and, a, and a cider. I think it was cider. I remember cider last year, or the year before, they had cider here. Yeah, so it's beer, wine, cider. Yeah. I saw you at the um, Gorge on Art. You were there with the hot rods. Yeah, at the, um, the Gorge uh, on Canada Day. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are there every year. I've seen, I've seen, a, few, thing, yeah. I've seen a few of those cars before, but they still look good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great annual party. And they clean them up nice, and yeah. it's a big moment in, in a fame, really. Yeah. Well, it's interesting in that, um, you know, people who live on the gorge there, you know, they're, they just get the, the houses are all done up, and they're all out front there, and they got stuff going on, and, you know, it's a big party for them. 
Well, that day I was still on the boot, in the boot, yeah. and I was walking with a cane that day, or maybe I even had a crutch that day. Yes. It didn't take me long. It went from two crutches to one crutch to one cane in about six days. Yeah. And then when I went to see the doctor this time, he says, you don't need the, the boot anymore. So I said, great. Yeah, good. It's called progress. Yeah. And the nice thing is that the improvement is yeah. dramatic. Yeah. I mean... And linear. Before, it used to take me forever to get any improvement. Yeah. If anything, it was always just gradually going down. Yeah, and you're going, oh, my God, you plateau. And you... Yeah, that's it. But yeah. now, anything yeah. I do is easier, yeah. faster, or better. On the up and up. On the up and up. Yeah. So I'll be jogging again in a week. Good. Mark yeah. my words. Oh, yeah. Are we going to see this tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, we might. Yeah. 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 I don't know. See? Yeah, nice too. I think the first stage after the elliptical will be holding on to the treadmill and yeah. jogging behind yeah. that, just in case I feel yeah. unsteady, I've got something to hold on yeah. to. So did you tear the Achilles? Or? Apparently I dislocated it from the uh, talus, the oh. heel bone. Oh. It pulled right out. Okay. And the guy had to it pull it down. <laughs> pull it down. <laughs> yeah. And stitch it and reattach it. Well, he asked me, he said, do you want to run again? I said, yes. He said, well, don't well, strain it too say. early. <laughs> Take it easy. So it starts off as only being as strong as the stitches. Yeah. And after that, you start to form your own tissue yeah, to yeah. hold it together. Yeah. yeah. But a 65-year-old doesn't heal up as quick as... As a 25-year-old. Or a 15-year-old. Chris was yeah. telling me he broke his foot high, doing a high jump, and he was 15, and within six weeks, he was back, oh back to yeah. normal again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, that's just, we, we don't mend as well as we used to. No. <laughs> that's all there is to it. We need to take more care of not breaking ourselves. So yeah, shall we uh, head up for the beer tent? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's time for beer already? Time for that beer, yeah. I don't know. It's afternoon. Oh, beer o'clock. Oh, it's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock, but, it, but it's not wine 30 yet. Yeah. It's not wine 30. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, well, nice to see you both. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your beer. Good luck, good luck with the healing. Yeah, right, guys. Nice yeah, to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. It's funny how quite often when I see Wendy, she, she either doesn't see me or she, she, she looks as if I'm not there, like she's looking over my head. Maybe she is a bit short-sighted, I don't know. Yeah, she, I think she wears glasses, yeah. Brian's looking good. Yeah, yeah. He never really got off into running like his wife, Wendy, was well, the... Well, his wife, I've known Wendy since, since she was 15. Since the dusty sneakers days. Well, that was when, uh, yeah, that's when we were doing track and field. I could certainly notice the increase in gradient all of a sudden. It got steep. Yeah. I will, I will, I will. So would you not go past that next to... have 28 mil tires on them, and they were like dwindling. Like she was saying, take a picture of that, right? So I've seen everybody I wanted to see this year already. It's great. <laughs> I could get the bus and go home now. My job is done. <laughs> Finally, it gets to level off a bit. Lots of dogs as well today. That looks like an electric bicycle, that one over there. Oh no, I think that's what they call a cargo bike. A cargo bike. It's cooler up here, isn't it? I guess we're getting the water, the way, the air off the ocean up here. I came by, when I came off the Dallas, I was freezing. Mm. Did you do your papers this morning? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. We've got a couple of people all stopped now. 
point guys when you fight Japan. Well, that's good. So you can take a few days off if you feel like it. If you wanted to go camping or. Well, yeah, I'm planning for. I was planning a trip to go to Cambridge, but it's just so smoky there. They can't yeah, but well, wait till they give them all clear before yeah, you go up yeah. there. They've got enough on their hands now. Check news. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. I guess we're not interview worthy. I hear the bongos. We must be getting close. To a man. <laughs> Absolutely, I only became Canadian citizen years ago. Was it how long ago? About four months ago? April? April, wow. I'll have to make the move one of these days. <laughs> I've been here for 30 years, I think it's about time. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm almost healed up, ready to run again. Excellent, yeah, Graham sent me an email about running. Okay. Well, he's waiting for me to be running again, so we can both get fit together. Absolutely. But he, he's lucky. He's got two or three other guys that guide him. I'm not the only one that used to do it, so... He's been relying on some of his other guides a little more. Yeah. He, I think he wants to do the uh, 8K in, uh, in Victoria, the I would, good we're life. Actually, we're actually out of the country on that day, so... You never know, I might be up to doing that myself with him. Oh, good. But the only thing is that he wants to run faster than I'm comfortable to run with him. And if he doesn't meet his goals, he makes me feel bad about it. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, I said, if you want to go any faster, Graham, you need a faster guide. Yeah, absolutely. Or somebody with huge biceps, you know, somebody who's <laughs> heavy duty <laughs> runner. Well, get Chris back on the, on the game. He should be running for a run. He used to be a 240, what was it, marathon guy? 247 marathon. 237. 237. We were all wonderful once. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They can't take it away from you, though, can they? Not really, no. But the thing is, you don't really need to dwell on it all the time. Life goes on. We move along. The time span. We move along. Take your watch off. Then when you're running fast, oh, okay. that's your fast. That's yeah. what I do. I, I just go by whether I could talk. If I'm running fast enough that I can't talk, then I'm probably going a little faster than I need to. Yeah. They always say conversational pace. Because yeah. my plan is to run when I'm 90, so I've still got lots of time. Yeah. I've still got 25 more years of this. <laughs> So that's an achievable goal, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you look at Morris, you look at uh, all those legends. Morris, he's still running. He must be 80 something. John Woodall, as well. He's in his 80s. Anyway, we're going to check on the beer tent. Absolutely. Have a point for me, guys. Yeah. Bye bye. Nice meeting you. Oh, there's the check, guys. Look. Okay. This guy doesn't want to let us cross. Yeah, that's it. Good man. He must be the supervisor.
they should just warn them on the cross streets that there's a, an event going on and to go back slow right down. Because now the cars are thinking, I want to get across. If they'd been warned a little earlier, they'd expect delays. We finally made it to the oh, yeah. the promised land. Well, don't tell me you've been out walked by a recently surgeon, a recently operated on person. <laughs> Maybe it's just that I'm excited that I'm finally walking again. Oh yeah, she's doing all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be like her. I'm going to have to learn how to run again. <laughs> yeah, I think the treadmill's my best bet for next week, just to hold on to something. And it also gives me a chance to check on my uh, on my heart rate. Oh yeah. So if 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 I am getting stressed, it'll show in my heart rate. What do you mean, 130? Oh, that's what my average was when I was prior to February. What, what for your average length of run, an hour and a half? Oh, uh, no, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, 130 beats per minute. So oh, okay, yeah, no, no, that's... I was doing that today on the elliptical, 133 I got up to. And I broke a sweat for the first time in ages. Oh, look, you can pose for a picture inside the frame here. You're framed. I can smell something sweet. Cinnamon rolls or something like that. You know, I might actually uh, bump into Rob Wiley on Wednesday. You know how he was saying he couldn't make it for Tuesday? And I, I was saying to Joseph that maybe I'd try and hook up with Rob Wiley. He used to run with the Y people, the flying Y. Yeah. He knows people like uh, Rosamond Dashwood and... And he knows people like, uh, oh, this is where we get the beer tickets. How does this work? Is it one ticket for so much and five tickets for something else? Well, no real discount. But. Okay, no. I think two beers would be good for me. There you go. I'm going to give you a nice little stamp on your hand. You do that. That proves that I'm old enough to drink beer. Exactly. You even get changed. Thank you. Great. Enjoy. Where's my friend with his bicycle? Oh, I'll find him. Thank you. Okay, so Chris has gone over to the washroom, the porta potty. Industrial area between um, uh, right on the border of Scotland and Big West. 
the, the little industrial area, and that's where we're in. We're right behind. Howard. I know where that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're up Devonshire. Yep, we're on Devonshire, Devonshire Road. We're just tucked away behind. Uh, and there's a park. sign that says Growlers or something. Exactly. And you drive in the back? It's, yeah. That's great. Excellent. Glad right. you enjoy it. Guys, Give me two of those. I can't, get <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it on a plane, though. Are you going Are you back from? to the States? Yeah, from New York, yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. That's about as far away as you can get from here. It's pretty far. I'm glad I didn't drive. <laughs> Actually, I think it's further from Victoria to Florida than it is Victoria to New York. Well, my son was down in Miami playing a gig. Yeah. yeah. And and I got on the phone with him. I was, I'm like, I am about as far away <laughs> as I've as ever you been. Can get yeah. Forever that. I, well, my friend, he's, my son has actually been to Japan. But uh, thank you. But that's. You get the creeps from your kids that are far away. It's like, listen, you better text me <laughs> every day. Oh, every yeah. day. I know yeah. it, the phone's held. My, my sister lives in England and my brother was living in Tokyo. So anyway, oh, cheers, boys. Place. Thank you. You too. Chris! I took the liberty of ordering one for you. <laughs> you finally had too many cups of coffee. Well, beer's going to do the same to you. You know, you're going to... I used to have a client that... Uh, whoops. She uh, used to say, water in, water out. You know, whatever you drink comes out the other end pretty soon. Well, cheers, man. Cheers, man. It looks a bit like Coca-Cola, doesn't it? But this is Lighthouse uh, Brewery. Ah, that is nice. This is about the same flavor and color as the beer that I'm brewing. You do? Well, it's uh, stretching out. Yeah, I think we should we should be more paying much more attention to our posture. You know, the way we walk, the way we sit. I try to, I try to take note of it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's important because you spend a lot of your adolescent days slouching. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get old enough to realize it's better to stand up straight, it's too late. You've already built a slouch into yourself. Core exercises. Oh, yeah. At the gym, I can't call it a gym. What's the name of it? Oh, it's just a cardio rehab. But w uh, part of the hospital, or it's in the hospital on the third floor. Jubilee or the Jubilee, oh, okay. Yeah, they got, uh, they got treadmills there. They got uh, free weights. They got, uh, you've got a rowing machine. They got uh, elliptical machines there. They got. Uh, Maybe I could come and do my workout with you. <laughs> I could come and use the elliptical. Yeah, yeah. And keep you honest. <laughs> well, they got me on a. They got me on a schedule. They kind of, you know, they kind of. I suppose they kind of rein you back, and you know, they say, well, just uh, like on the treadmill, they have you walk for 15 minutes, no faster than three miles an hour. Yeah, well, I, I had that, that trouble the first time I got onto one of those machines because it was in miles, and I thought, this doesn't seem oh, right. I had to find a I had to find a treadmill in kilometers just so I would have a better idea of how fast I was walking. So what is it? Three three point one miles an hour is five kilometers. So that's easy to remember. So if it if it feels like a reasonable walk, and it says three point one, then the machine is in miles. Yeah. And if it says five, then it's in kilometers. Yeah. Five miles. Five miles now would be like a very very. Uh, that would be. Yes, that's the, that's the sort of speed that I used to run at. That was like a. Eight kilometers an hour. Five miles an hour is eight kilometers an hour. Yeah. For the longest time, I was running consistently sub six minute kilometers, but I very soon I lost that, and I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just set myself an easier target. I'll say, okay, I'll be happy with six minute kilometers on the flat and seven minutes on hills and now I can handle that for a few more years and what with bicycle and running 
eventually I'll be able to do some of my cardio on the bike and not all of it running or walking. They got an arm crank thing where you just oh two yeah minutes, two minutes one way for about twelve minutes. And they got uh, programs to set it at hills and things. Well, the, uh, Is there much yeah. resistance? I mean, you could set for different uh, well, they got resistance. Programs like something they have uh, high, low, high, low. Yeah. And they supplies every two minutes to change directions. Uh -huh. This is for the arms. I think it's done good because I've just discovered how weak I am. And yeah. Well, most runners, they feel that they're fit because their legs are strong and their hearts are strong, but yeah. our arms are. Our arms aren't very strong, and I noticed that when I had to walk around on crutches. Well, my arms were getting so tired so quickly. I found out the hard way. I've had a few falls on my bike. I tripped one morning with an arm, arm load of heat as I tripped and fell. On my way to my left arm, this way was shoulder. Yeah. You know, the, the, the work that you do, is that considered uh, real work? I mean, can you get workman's compensation if you got injured or anything like that? No, this is private. It's just a private, private bit deal. See, what happens? What happens? Uh, two times I had somebody sub, and they were still paying me, but I was having to pay the uh, David, the fellow, the young fellow who agreed to sub me for a few weeks. I was off, so I had to pay him. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it works. It's that's an informal arrangement. Yes. Yeah, but if, uh, if somebody gets paid by the Times columnist, yeah. and they they just mail you a t check to your account or what? Direct deposit. Oh, that's good. And it, it keeps you in coffee money and... and uh, well, it's exercise, a little bit of money coming in. I say that I don't really want to give it up. <clears throat> well, when I first started it, I got, kind of got carried away. I started doing six weeks. Well, John Cliff is a very good example of uh, why you should keep doing things. Oh, yeah, he probably does that. I mean, he's like me. He's probably, he's probably keeping him running fit. I mean, in his actual running, I don't know how much running he's doing these days. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a banner up there. Yeah, it yeah. probably says Subway. Yep, it says Subway. Anyway, so uh, this is us, really. Yeah. We're here at the Moss Street painting. Yeah, yeah. 2017. Having a beer. <laughs> All right.